What's up, guys? I'm Maya Bello, and I am super excited to be here today to kick off the AWS Deep Racer 2020 Championships. Ryan, so you were there last year when Sola from Japan, love her, took home that championship cup. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Sola! What's going to be different this time around? Hey, Maya, yes, there are some differences this year. Most notably, as we've done all season long in 2020, we're going all virtual. And critically, each of the three stages of this tournament feature completely different race formats. 112 developers from all over the world have qualified to be here, but only one will earn their right to be called the 2020 champion. Today is the day, the new tracks get released, the new rules, it's very exciting stuff. Hi, I'm Daryl Pazursky. I am a full stack developer for the Walt Disney Company and I live in Orlando, Florida. I've been around aviation my entire life, whether flying aerobatics or getting my seaplane rating, it's been a blast. Griffin, sit. Griffin's an Australian Labradoodle, pretty smart dog to start out with and it just worked on general tricks. Sit, shake, lay down, <laughs> belly rubs. Good boy. Hopefully I can figure out object avoidance and head to head before the races start. Hi, I'm Cindy from Singapore. And this is my first time participating in Deep Racer. From a young age, I've been gaming. I've always wondered how is it possible that someone can create such a dynamic game just typing lines of code. I started dancing and was a part of my university dance club. The style of dance I like the most is jazz funk. It's basically the same kind of dancing as so the pop culture videos that you see online. In our company, I was trained with Deep Racer. I take it as a challenge. I like the feeling of overtaking someone on the leaderboard, so I will definitely work hard to achieve that. I'm Ray Go, and I work at DBS Bank. I qualified for the championship by winning the AWS F1 Pro M race. Ray G, Ray, congratulations! OMG! As I got started with AWS Deep Racer, I set myself a goal of being the top in the world. Part of it was to show my son Ryan Hello. that if you try hard enough, you can actually be amongst the best in the world. Three, two, psych! What? <laughs> Making it all the way to the top eight for the final Grand Prix. That's what everyone's aiming for. Hi, my name is James Jennings, and I currently live in Toronto and work for a Canadian bank. I went to university and studied computer science. This is where all the work gets done. I managed to locate an eight-year-old server with these things are never ending. So <laughs> I ended up with four machines were away in the basement, training the cars and heating the house. Dining room, Deep Racer. A, a number of people have speculated about my obsession with Deep Racer. <laughs> but, uh, I can assure you, everything's fine. Let me show you where I do all my Deep Racer training. First order of business is let's get a decent time on the time trial circuit. I've noticed that there are a lot of right angle parts of the track. The thing that caught my attention is the track width. It's much wider than what we're used to. I have quite a bit to do to get ready. Luckily, we have this warm-up round. I'm pretty confident that I will do well in the first round. Hopefully, you know, top 15. <laughs> the competition is really, really close. My money is on James, obviously. We need to keep an eye on, on Daryl. To narrow down from 112 to 8. Oh, no. Oh, man. It's going to be absolutely brutal. <laughs> well, after all of the build-up, it is finally race day. Round one, the group knockouts. The field of 112 developers has been divided into eight distinct groups. 
They each get three minutes on track to set the fastest time possible. And here we go. Roger Rabbit, second fastest of the group in warm-ups. Problems here for Blue Tulips, as you can see, stuck on this second box. Drift King, yeehaw. Ooh, and off track. Move Roger Rabbit to P1. 22.413 seconds. Drift King puts JP Morgan Chase in a clean sweep of the top two spots. The time to beat, 27.2 seconds. All eyes on JJ. Oh, my fingers crossed. The benchmark time might be set right here, right now. JJ off and running, looking nice and strong here early on. That's all right. That is a solid lap time, 24.062. A lot of eyes on this run to see what he's capable of. Not fast enough. Passes the box of doom and into the hairpin. Oh, man. That was close. Personal best. Slightly quicker. 23.385. Time for one more hot lap. Love how it dodges those boxes through there. Oh, no! Oh, no! Not quite on pace with the personal best and then off track in Sector 3. That will doom this run. It was on pace. Almost. Oh, well. Nevertheless, 23, 3, 8, 5, more than enough for JJ to advance. Slots in in third. So the favorite has moved on, but still a lot up for grabs. James Jennings, congratulations on qualifying for the bracket of 32. Thank you very much, Maya. I was up against some pretty stiff competition. I was, I was a little bit nervous about qualifying. I thought I would. So I guess that's one down, uh, two very large hurdles still to go. Up next, it is the eighth developer to take to the track here in group number five, Cindy Lamb. Should I be able to see the console now? One of the favorites coming in. Let's see what Cindy has for us. Let me just refresh my page. It's really been coming on strong here recently. Oh, is this correct? This is something that's relatively new. She's been a quick study, but problems here in the hairpin, and this is that box of doom that we've been talking about. I have an issue just now. But watching Cindy struggle with this box and go into it at about the same rate of speed every time, it does make you wonder if perhaps there might be an issue with that live control. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> does look like maybe she's trying to dial back the speed on the model a little bit and is able to clear it there. That is crucial now. Oh, I don't have much time remaining, though. Cindy is in the clear, able to get past the box of doom, but... The time is running out. Only 30 seconds left as Cindy crosses the line. That first lap will not cut it, quite obviously. 228.082. In a collision there with the box, time has expired. And it appears that the Box of Doom has claimed yet another victim. Cindy DBS, her tournament has come to a premature end. Uh, are you freaking out? <laughs> I would be. Honestly, the only thing that I was going through my mind is, oh, box of doom. <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of, honestly. Because the box of doom was on the inner lane on a very sharp track, my model is trying to stick to the center line. When it resets after hitting the box, it will keep trying to aim to the center of the track. That's the reason why it keeps trying to hit the box. I realized that if I were able to slow down the speed so that it will be able to cut past the right side of the box. It took me a while to figure out how to get past it. Unfortunately, I wasted a lot of time on it, so I couldn't make a good round afterwards. It, it was too late of a discovery. Even though you might be feeling a little bit disappointed, you're a complete boss. When you come back next year, everyone's gonna be like, watch out for Cindy. I will definitely be back next year because I think that I haven't gotten enough of Deep Racer yet. <laughs> I have the next one year to prepare myself for the championships again. Polish Thunder, Daryl Jazerski on track now. Here we go. The most important threshold to clear is Kim Woobie's time, 41.679. Come on. Oh, those resets are killing me. Come on, get through this lap, get another one in. Go, 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 go. All eyes on this developer from Orlando, Florida. Past the box of doom. Coming through sector two, have the reset there. Oh, double reset. Prior to this race, Daryl decided he was going to go back to the drawing board, scrap the model he had been training and planning on using, 
That's a big risk to take. An unproven model now on the racetrack. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm in. 31.477. That round 32 berth is secure. Hi, Daryl. Congratulations on making it to the round of 32. How do you feel? Oh, yeah, I get re relieved and uh, I can now on to the next round. We'll see what happens. I'd, I'd love to see Ray, myself, and James in the final. Ray G about to take to the track now. Here in group number seven, the time to beat to be the top of the group, a 43.888 from Ayana. Several developers uh, that we've seen already really have trouble with the obstacle avoidance, some contact with those boxes. Hopefully that's a pitfall that Ray can avoid. So I watched Cindy race in the other group and uh, she was defeated by the Box of Doom. <laughs> This model is for Cindy, it's to adventure. Three minutes on the clock and the lights are out. Ray G's group knockouts race is underway. Clean through sector one here, Ray G from Singapore. Come on. Has done so much within the Deep Racer community and opens up with a purple first sector. Sweet. No resets as of yet as well. That's very impressive. That kind of consistency typically is indicative of a well-trained model. So as Ray G comes around to start what should be his final flying lap, look at that, no resets as of yet for Ray. <sighs> oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Look at that, right into the box there. First reset of the race so far. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ray. 30 seconds remaining. Come on. Coming around now to complete the third sector and to the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. <laughs> Ray G, a best time, 27.617. Fast enough to make it to the top of this group and lock himself into a spot in the round of 32. Whew. Ray G, you just finished racing. You did so well. How do you feel? More relief than anything else. I was bent on conquering the box of two. <laughs> so I wasn't sure whether the model would work because this is a model which I just trained overnight. Wow. I took a gamble and submitted this untested model instead of telling it how to go around the track. I just trained it to figure things out. Thankfully, it worked. <laughs> Congratulations to the top 32 qualifiers and all the developers who took part in the first round of the AWS Deep Racer 2020 Championships. In our next episode, these 32 survivors will go head to head in the bracket of 32, but only eight will qualify for the Grand Prix Final. Don't miss out on the action or your chance to sign up for a Deep Racer training session. Join the league today and start accelerating your machine learning journey at deepracerleague.com.